This is the Tracker Predator maquette. Cool thing about this guy, I mean, there's so much cool stuff about this, but you know, this guy has at his command all these kind of weird alien dog things that are just covered in these, these great uh, barbs. He actually has them in this particular one hooked up to his own, his own uh, chest so that the chain let them go on their leash a little bit longer. Um, and then if he needs to unhook them and uh, set them free on, on their prey. The dogs kind of kind of a cool thing about them is that the hook that connects to them is actually embedded into their skin. They don't get like a collar or anything like that. These guys just like literally just stick it in their skin and just chain them up. Now, the, the first question I'm always asked about this when people see it is, is how do these guys eat? Well, that's kind of the cool thing about this that they've kind of thought about is they're not able to eat on their own, thereby they're forced to rely on their masters, the predators, to actually hand feed them to give them some uh, some loyalty. The dogs are absolutely vicious in this film. Uh, they're just they're just hungry. They're wild. They're crazy. They they run really fast. As soon as they're unleashed, there's no stopping them. You can see that you know this vicious is kind of pulling him through the dirt. He's really trying to fight against it because these guys just just they just want to tear off your face. As you can see on the tracker himself, yeah, he's got the tusks, which are the basically reminiscent of, of these barbs. Maybe one of his little buddies died, and he, memorandum kind of stuck him on his mask or something. You also have this great base, which is kind of uh, got some reminiscent of of what might be predator architecture and really cool find detail on this is around this gold brim right there is all kinds of great predator hieroglyphic text so with each of the predators we're doing a, a maquette of the three new predators in the film um, and now we're just doing maquettes of them but we're also doing uh, prop replicas of their masks each one being very unique and, and really kind of showcasing some some uh, cooler aspects of the character now as cool as the prop replicas are I think it's even cooler to have the actual character as, as a study here because it, it tells a story of, of what's happening with the character in the moment. And each character is, is unique, and, and I love that this this one is, is just has a lot of energy to it. The dog's pulling him through the dirt. He's really trying to struggle with it. His dreads are flying everywhere. What, what are they after? Who knows? Is it Adrian Brody? I don't know. Is it Arnold? Could be. You never know, but this is what it leaves up to your imagination.